anger is a very nasty emotion. Hi, I'm Nadine Zouare. Indeed, anger can be a very, very nasty emotion. It can bring us down, put us down to a low level of existence where reality is no longer available to us. We are reacting, not gathering no facts and evidence for what's happening. Instead, just charging at the cost of our health and well-being. That, my friend, is a definition of insanity. Yes, anger can protect us. Anger can help us for a very short, limited time. 90 seconds, to be exact. You have that time to react. You can go out of your mind if you want to. Your physiological event, your heart is racing, starting to sweat. That is okay when it's kept to a short period of time, 90 seconds. If you choose to keep that longer and repeat that over and over and over, it becomes chronic anger. It brings a huge amount of stress. And like I said, it's very nasty for your health and well-being. So next time you feel angry, find out why you're feeling that way. Instead of just reacting, be proactive. Find evidence and facts to what's happening. Example. If you're working somewhere and your manager or your colleague or your boss is saying something to you that is angering you, just take a deep breath. Excuse yourself and go to the bathroom. Take a few deep breaths. Put some water, cold water on your face. The idea is to bring yourself back to the present moment where fear does not exist and you're at that peace zone with Love resides. Return to the meeting or wherever you are and conclude by responding, responding positively, not reacting, responding negatively. That is not conducive to your health and well-being. So anger, yes, is a very nasty emotion. If you keep staying angry, being angry all the time, you need to bring yourself back to the only thing that we have, which is the present moment. Now, I know you hear this all the time. Mindfulness, awareness, present moment. It's almost sounding corny, right? It is not. It's the truth. That's the only thing you have. So put yourself back here. See, when you're angry, your mind is going either to the past or the future. It's f afraid of s recreating an event that was not pleasant or afraid of the future, uncertainty. What's going to happen? Am I going to get fired? That's all happening in a fraction of a second. So you react physically. But it's illusory. Nothing of that is happening. Go back to the now. To the peaceful place. If you can't do it immediately, whether it's a fight with your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, son, daughter, or your boss having an argument with you, just check. Just step back. Step back. Excuse yourself and go to the bathroom. Take 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes, whatever it takes. And get back to that present moment. Get back to yourself. Get back to that higher level of existence. Get back to your self-worth. Where reality is allowed where the field of infinite possibility resides, you see? 
Don't stay stuck down at that low level of existence. That definite field of impossibility resides down there at the level of low or low level of existence. Anger, if you need it, if it's protecting you for a few minutes, 90 seconds, just step back, take a deep breath. Find out what's going on. Why is this happening? If you have any questions, you know where to ask them. Down below. And please don't hesitate in checking our services and products at nordeanswareg.com. nordeanswareg.com. Till next time, please stay healthy and stay safe. Be smart. Thank you.